You guys, I totally forgot to show you what the ingredients and the recipe and everything. So I'm just gonna show you the final. Hi guys. Hello everyone. Welcome back. Are you guys tired of seeing our kitchen? Because <laughs> we are. <laughs> we have another date night planned for tonight. Thank you guys for joining us on our date nights. We really have a mission to bring a spark back to the marriage, to bring intimacy back to the marriage relationship to save the marriage relationship and we want to practice what we preach so we have a date night once a week lately you guys have been joining us <laughs> and when i originally planned on doing this i really had some fun things planned to kind of get more creative and give you guys some good tips and tricks on how to have an effective and fun date night but then the pandemic started <laughs> right <laughs> And all of your tips and tricks have been coming right here from our kitchen. Right. Because this seems to be where we hang out <laughs> all the time. <laughs> right? Right. All the time. All the time. Here at home. Are you guys starting to feel like that? Are you starting to feel like you're running out of things to do with your spouse? Well, stay tuned. We do have some tips and tricks to show you guys on how to have meaningful conversations, what to do during your date night, different ideas, believe it or not, besides just from our kitchen. But first, we want to show you our amazing recipe tonight, because what good would a date night video be without our recipes? Right. Right? Right. So this I'm super excited. You guys, I totally yeah, forgot yeah, to show yeah, you what the ingredients yeah. and the recipe and everything. So I'm just going to show you the final the end result. The, uh, so I'm just going to show you the end result, and then I will let you know how we prepared it. Here we go. Are you guys ready? We're excited. Coming out of the oven. Don't look at my dirty stove. <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> oh, look how amazing that pizza looks. Doesn't it look so good? We spent so much time preparing We slaved this. over the pizza today. Right. It's got chicken and bacon and artichoke hearts and spinach. And a white sauce, look at it. Mm. Yum, I'm so excited. So how we prepared this, it was really complicated, you guys. We um, ordered, don't look at my dirty stove over here, you guys, don't judge. Look at that. So how we did this is we ordered online through papamurphys.com and went and picked it up. It was amazing and it was so simple. You guys have to try this recipe and let us know in the comments what you think of it. As you guys see, date night doesn't have to be super complicated. <laughs> we don't have to turn on our air fryer every time we have a date night. Right. You don't have to really get elaborate and really think it through. What matters is that you guys are spending time together. That's you're following right. simple rules and boundaries, like not being on your phone all night right. and having meaningful conversation, no fighting, no right. talking about the kids. And that really is what matters. It doesn't have to be complicated with crazy, crazy recipes right. and and different things like that. While we have so much fun cooking together in the kitchen, as you guys have seen, it just doesn't have to always be that way. Right. So we're cheating on our date night tonight. <clears throat> um, stay tuned, we're not done. Ooh, that sun's bright. It is bright. I love this time of year. <laughs> it's one of my favorite. It is me too. It's just cool enough that we're out here. I wish that we do have a fire pit, but it's currently at my parents' house. I wish that we were sitting around a fire and we just had our pizza and we we're wrapping up our date night. Thanks again, guys, right. for joining us. That was fun. It was fun. You know, I'm afraid that everybody being in quarantine, that um, they're tired of looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys starting to feel that? The sun is literally shining right in my eyes, so I'm not meaning to glare at you. Are you guys feeling that? Are you tired of looking at each other every night, day in and day out? So some suggestions that we have is to ask each other questions. Don't just get into a scroll hole with your phone and be all in, in your face but make it a special date night. Right. You know, you guys have been joining us for our last, what, three, four yeah, date nights? Something like that, three, I think. <laughs> and it's been a lot of fun. We've really enjoyed, we thought that we would make these vlogs before the quarantine and right. make a date night <laughs> vlog for you guys and just come up with different creative ideas, but here we are stuck. Here we are. <laughs> so now we've had to really make some very creative ideas. Right. And um, we've had a lot of fun. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it too. We have some links in the comments to help you guys with your date nights. Mm -hmm. There are um, date night do's and don'ts, that's in the comments, and also questions to ask each other for conversation starters. So one that I remember, one of the questions that I remember is, tell me how Jesus has answered a prayer this week. I had the opportunity, so I work as a veterans representative, and what I do is I help veterans find jobs, which. Obviously, during this time, um, are few and far between. 
but I did have one of my veterans um, that I had sent him a uh, job announcement and he actually had an interview this week and he said the interview went, um, went pretty good. That's awesome. That's awesome. What about you? Nope. You have to ask me another question. You I can't have to just ask... repeat the same question. Oh, man. I know. Do you remember any other questions from the list? So one of the questions on the list was if you if money was not an issue and you could travel anywhere, where would you travel to? Travel anywhere and money is not an issue. I would love to go to Ireland. I think that would be amazing. We have a great friend who's from Ireland and she's just one of my favorite people and I love her accent. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine an Irish Texan accent. accent. She's been in the States now for several years. I would say pushing 20 years. She's been in Texas, so her Irish accent has really been meshed with the Southern accent, and it's really kind of funny. But um, <laughs> it's just, I, from the pictures that I've seen, from everything that I've seen, I would love to go to Ireland. But the thing is, here's the caveat. I need somebody to tell me what to do. Yeah. I'm not... Like, we're adventurous, but... Like going to Ireland would be adventurous for us. Right. We don't want to have to try and figure, figure out, out where I'm we're afraid going, that we would we go <laughs> and we would like miss everything. Right. Like we would tell somebody that we traveled to Ireland and we'd be like, yeah, we were at this place. And they're like, did you check this out? No. no. Well, did you check this out? No. no. Did you check this out? Uh, no. So that would be my fear is that we'd miss something if we didn't right. hire somebody to help us. So if money was not an object, I would hire a travel agent to create our itinerary for Ireland. So these are just some of the examples of um, the list that we developed for you guys to be able to start conversations during your date nights. There's a whole list. I think there's 15 on there. 15 questions. Yep. Questions that you guys can ask. You don't have to ask all 15. It's not like a, <laughs> okay, question one, <laughs> question two. Don't do that. <laughs> have interaction with each other. Right. There's supposed to be conversation starters. So that way you guys won't get stuck in the scroll hole of Facebook during your date nights and you guys right. can actually have some conversations without being sick of staring at each right. other. <laughs> and just looking over the doc, the, um, the PDF file that was created, there's a lot of good questions in there. I'm sorry guys, like the sun, my glasses are probably starting to tint. <laughs> They've been tinted, <laughs> yeah. Um, there's just a lot of good questions on there and they're really meant to be conversation starters, not this is the conversation but hopefully you can ask the questions and it can really lead to um, you know, a good conversation. Who knows, um, hopefully you learned something new about your spouse that you didn't know before. Yeah, absolutely. And don't be afraid, Hamilton sniffing the mic. Can you guys hear that? Hamilton, we don't need your help. We're <laughs> actually in his territory tonight. Usually he's in ours, but we're in his backyard here. So he's playing fetch and really loving life right now <laughs> with us out <laughs> here with him. Those are supposed to be conversation starters, so right. don't make it like intense or scary or, right. you know, and, mm -hmm. and don't be afraid, don't say, oh, I already know that about him, and don't ask the question, because you might be surprised by their answer. Right. Yeah. 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 So we're going to end this date night with a little bit of worship. Our church actually does worship on the first and third Fridays of every month, but this month we get to do it in our living room. How cool is that? We right. get to usher the presence of the Lord into our living room right. through worship on our date night. That'd be awesome. Super excited. Oh, he is God. He made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates of thanksgiving. Go into the courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise <clears throat> his name. For the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever. And his faithfulness continues in each generation. So let's open the prayer. Well, Heavenly Father, we just come down praising you in all things. We're coming to you. But let us tonight open our hearts to show you how we praise. Whether we're in a living room or in the hallway, wherever we are right now, whether we come together as a family, a church family, praising you, thanking you for what you're doing in our life, that you're stretching us right now, and our faith is growing because we're focused on you. I pray tonight that every person watching, listening, wherever that might be, Lord, that they push into your presence, knowing that praise brings breakthrough. Father, we pray for that breakthrough right now. Let us break through tonight. Lord, take us into the depth. Come into your presence hearts open wide. So Father, we praise you, we thank you, for that we have a way to come together as a church, as a family, and praise you for all the things you're doing. May we enter into your presence quickly tonight. 
It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you so much for being here. We will see you guys again on Tuesday with an informational video about boundaries. I had some questions from some of our Facebook followers mm -hmm. about boundaries, and we answered that in our video on Tuesday. So be sure to ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Right. Ring the bell so that we can get notified every time we post, as well as follow us on all of our social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, our actual internet site, website, whatever that's called. <laughs> all of those links will be in the comments below. So be sure to follow us and don't miss a single video. Right. Thanks guys. Thanks everyone. Love you.